I've often mentioned in my tutorials about the importance of adding images to your Google My Business listing. But really from today onwards, images have just become a whole lot more important for your business. Find out why in my video. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design. And what I do is I help small businesses grow on the internet. So by giving my 20 years of experience and uh, coming up with ideas that will help you grow your business, then you can actually help your business make good choices and see more traffic. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, then you know what to do. Just press the button below, subscribe. And if you press the bell, it'll notify you of the next update. So just thinking about this and how images within Google My Business have been encouraged for some time now, but something's just changed and it's regarding the results that Google produces in its search engine results. And on top of that, don't uh, miss out on the end of the video because I've got a couple of tips there that are going to really help you as well to improve on how those images are viewed in local searches. So we'll uh, cover that a bit later in the video. But let's for now take the main question is why are images so important to Google and how are images suddenly now being used in a different way when it comes to SERPs or that's search engine result pages? Well, let's dive straight in to an example so you can see how it now works, the big change that Google's just produced and what you can do with your Google My Business to make sure that you appear in the next search engine results page. So let's imagine that we're going for um, finding flowers. We're going to buy some flowers for someone and we want a flower shop that's near us. So I'm going to type in flowers uh, near me or a flower shop near me. Let's go for that. And under the normal search engine results page, then we're familiar with this three pack. Uh, if you're coming up in the top three, that's great as well. But of course, we're looking particularly at this time, uh, if you want the three pack um, video then obviously I'll put the uh, the link ahead now but if you want to know why images are so important we well, notice first of all that they're now putting images next to the references here but also you'll notice that as you go down the page that's it but that's only the case when it comes to using a desktop computer now what I'm going to do I'm going to simulate my desktop as if it's a mobile so if I go into inspect and click on my mobile adaption and I need to reload this. So um, this is now pretending it's a responsive mobile. Uh, if I click on this and it will now load it again. And so you see again exactly the same thing. Show me florists that are near me. But as I go down, you'll notice that just after the adverts, we then get this search by photos. Now, this is not just normal images. This is photos that are represented by businesses. This is Google My Business. So notice here 4.8 uh, stars, five stars. These are local businesses and I can uh, swipe through these. I can, I can view them. So if I click on here and uh, I can then go through each one of these and uh, see uh, how it looks and what they do and so on. So if I click on view all, um, that then gives me this list again of flower shops and all the stars and references and how near they are. So this is a really new thing from Google as searching really through images. So the image you choose to represent your business is far more important than ever before. So this is something that I think uh, has only just been rolled out by Google. So what do you need to do? Well, first we need to claim your business if you haven't done so already. I've got a Google My Business for Beginners, so that would be ideal for you. So I'll put a link to that uh, channel above now. So follow through that and register your business or claim it if you haven't done so already. Now, how does the this image thing here work? Well, it's based on the fact of your location of the phone user. So as you saw, it only works on the phones, but if you're in a location and uh, you click on uh, the, the location and you search, then it will know where you are. So it knows I'm in Bournemouth. And then it'll provide some of the uh, businesses that are local. And particularly, I think the ratings is gonna have quite an impact on what people click on here as well. So get good ratings as they've done here, 38 ratings. Also make sure that when you upload it, it's a high quality image. So you want it to represent your shop. You want it to represent uh, the quality of the images that you do. So that will make a big difference. 
uh, you obviously need to make sure that uh, your company is registered. So if you've um, kind of started it, but you've not finished it, you've not filled out all of the, the business, then make sure you've confirmed everything because it won't appear until it's been confirmed. And uh, again, I've got a video of how to do that with or without a postcard, which I'll put a link to. And then finally, also you need to make sure that it uh, is optimized really as best as you can. So make sure that you've got your map reference, that you've got your opening times, that you've got the correct phone number. And uh, in this case, look at this. Uh, uh, this is just a case of someone is um, putting in photos, but this isn't necessarily the business owner because the business owner hasn't even claimed this. And this is often the case that uh, businesses aren't uh, being claimed so make sure you claim it now. Uh, these are just images from people that are passing by and taking photos from a shop window. So, uh, so they don't realize how much traffic they could be missing out on. Now as a little bonus as well, just wanted to uh, uh, provide you with just something a little extra. And it's really regarding uh, how do you get your images to appear to be uh, local? So how do you get them to appear local? Well, apart from the fact that you'll upload them and they'll be then linked to wherever you've put your address of your shop or business, you can geotag them as well. And that would be my top bonus tip today is if you haven't geotagged any of your images, then make sure you follow my little instruction video that's gonna appear now. So thanks again, and I'll speak to you again soon.